Hello you wonderful people. In the last video I have told you that I was filling some frames for my office. And this is this was actually the first frame that I thought about filling. So first I thought about just putting some prints in there or postcards that I had and the feather was actually something that I tried out with. So I really thought about what to add in there. The giraffe and the bee are actually some of my postcards that you can buy in the shop that is linked down below. And I like the look of it, but I thought about that I wanted some um, plants and other animals and I wanted a totally different color scheme for the office so I started painting. The color scheme that I chose was green gold, sepia and indigo and this is mainly the... Uh, the I think the, these were the only colors that I used for this one. What I plan... Uh, I didn't plant this one. What I painted was some cotton plants or just some cotton balls on a cotton plant and I like how this looks because it's always so white and fluffy and beautiful and I added an indigo background to this one so it would just look nice. In the beginning you can also see how I used the white frame that I started out with, but I actually exchanged it for a green frame that you will see in the end. I think that it looks a little bit nicer with the green one for the cotton plant, but I used the white one for the flamingo. And I have still another white one left where I haven't painted anything to fill it right now. But I'm thinking about a fish, or maybe a stingray. They look kind of nice. Hmm. Oh, sorry, now you caught me thinking. <laughs> um, yeah, but I think some kind of fish would be nice. I'm not sure, but I like the thought. Because, oh well. What paints I will use for the next one, I don't know. But for this one, I use my Schmink palette, as you can see. Some, some of the colors in the Schmink palette are da from Daniel Smith, because I only have three Daniel Smith colors, and they all are include in the Schmincke palette just to make it nice and round. The paper that I use is again or still the Canson Moonval Aquarelle. It's a nice block. It's 100% cellulose paper and it may not be perfect for everyone but it's still a little bit nicer to paint on than the XL blocks. I pre-sketched again, then I erased and drawing a little bit and started to color it. As mentioned, I only used three colors for the whole painting and it was more than enough. Queen Gold is the most beautiful, um, my favorite yellow tone. And now I have to spoil that a little bit. I ordered some original Queen Gold, the PO49 from Dan, and it arrived just today when I'm editing this video. So I can show it to you right now because I haven't opened it yet. But I will, and I will play with it, so there will be a comparison of the 
original pigment in from Dan that he made uh, paints with to the hue that I often use from Schmidt. But there will be a separate video on that. I hope you enjoyed this painting and can see how wonderful watercolor truly is. I enjoy everything I paint with it because I love how the colors flow in water and how they behave on paper. It's just something that is exciting for me every time. That's why pigments and new paints are also exciting to me. So I hope you enjoy it just as much as I do. Thank you all for watching and I hope to see you soon. Bye.